Your main event, Adam Copeland versus Christian Cage in an I Quit match. If you told me that 40 years ago, or almost 40 years ago, as 10-year-olds, Adam and Jay scripted a match about what they would like to do if they had a chance to main event a show in Toronto, and then just kept that script, and then used it here in this match, I might believe you. It was very much the match two 10-year-olds would love to do in their hometown. There was a lot of ultraviolence. There was a lot of... Uh, 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 silliness, outright silliness, but it all worked. The crowd loved everything. We had Adam Copeland coming out in the Maple Leafs gear here in Toronto. He gets a mega ovation. He's standing in the ring. The music is off. The crowd's still singing his song. And then the bell rings. Everyone just goes crazy. This from the jump seemed like a big, big, big feckin' deal. And they brawl outside, and it's a hockey arena. They brawled into the penalty box where Copeland steals a Bruins sweater from a fan and puts it on a Christian, takes a Leaf sweater from another fan, puts it on. A hockey fight breaks out in the penalty box. Everyone's going crazy. That spot in particular, that's when I was like, I guarantee you, they thought of that on the playgrounds of, uh, of the Toronto area for some decades ago, and they get a chance to do it, and it worked. It was awesome. They're doing a few ladder spots, the execution under the ladder. Christian has selling basically the entire match until he leapfrogs a spear outside and he throws Copeland to the post. Splashes him off the top through a table that is leaning against the guardrail. They do a couple of near falls. We go to our second commercial break. And they're flying off the stage. Uh, we have a hockey net being used. Copeland throws Cage into the hockey net, which wouldn't hurt. It's a net, right? This webbing and fabric. And Craig goes, yeah, threw him into the fucking net. Cool. It was awesome. Uh, Mother Wayne appears. She nut shots Copeland with a hockey stick. We have Cage trying to use a number of weapons, pulls out a barbed wire chair. They tease a bunch of bumps into it. Uh, eventually, Nick Wayne and Killswitch hits the ring. Here comes the woman, Shivani notes, and she slaps Copeland in the face. But Daddy Magic and Daniel Garcia come out, and they, of course, have had their issues with uh, Christian and company as well. They even the odds. Killswitch ends up DDT'd onto the barbed wire. That takes him out. And Nick is pitched out onto Killswitch. Copeland does a giant dive off a ladder onto the two of them. And then Copeland tried to win fair. Here's the thing. Copeland absolutely tried to win this match one-on-one. -on -one. But when Christian brought his flunkies in, Adam had no problem fighting, sinking to that level. And his stooges, God bless them, uh, Garcia and Daddy Magic are in there. They bring out handcuffs. They handcuff all the heels in the corners. Edge, Adam, then pins, uh, they punts K's in the balls like a dozen times. And again... This is a spot of 10 year old book. I'm just going to kick you in the balls over and over and over and over again. And there's a spot here that like me and maybe 12 other people caught. When the ref goes to check, it's an I quit match. And he holds the mic up to Christian and says, do you want to quit? Now this whole thing started when Adam embraced Christian and said, let's be tag partners. And Christian said, go fuck yourself. So this ref holds the mic out to Christian. Do you want to quit? And Christian gets as far as go, and the ref yanks the mic away. I think I want to be very few people who caught the significance of that moment. But after all this, Adam grabs Spike, the baseball bat or cricket bat, whatever the hell it is, with all the nails in it. And he swings this thing, and he catches Christian in the testicles with a spiked implement. And at this point, we're going from uh, 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 dynamite to rampage. The screen actually faced to black. We almost missed the quitting. But uh, Adam raises Spike above his head to wall up Cage's face in, and Cage kind of softly but definitively says, I quit, and that's it. Adam wins. He's your new uh, TNT champion. The place goes crazy for the hometown hero. A quite, quite, quite awesome main event that was. You know, I, I, uh, I was thinking about this finish, and it was fine and all. But you know what I would have done? Tell me. Well, I would add Edge, kick him in the balls like a dozen times, and they ask Christian, do you quit? And in a very high-pitched voice, because he's been kicked in the balls a dozen times, he yeah. says, go fuck yourself. Which, of course, they have to bleep. And that's when Adam goes and he gets the big fucking board covered in spikes. And he brings it down low aiming for the balls and he's about to whack him in the balls and that's when Christian says I quit mm. but then Edge grabs a mic and he says 
no, go fuck yourself. Mm. And he hits him after the match in the balls with the barbed wire board. That would work. Because at the end of the day, it's like, you know, I don't know. It was fine. But this fucking Christian was almost a baby face. It's like you got kicked in the balls a fucking dozen times and you wouldn't quit. Then you got hit in the fucking balls with a board covered in nails and you still won't quit. That's a tough motherfucker. And then he has to save his own goddamn life by quitting because this guy's a maniac. But anyway, here's what I'll say about this match. I thought the finish was overkill with everybody running in and everybody getting handcuffed and four-on-one advantage baby faces there for a while. But before they did all that, I thought this match was fucking awesome. I thought up until all of the interference, I thought they had a great, smart, worked, crazy shit, but not too crazy. These are two old guys who both had to retire at one point. They're back. Yeah. And like what they did, it was a masterpiece. And then they overbooked it there at the end. But the funny thing about all the overbooking is uh, this is something to watch going forward because we did a survey and uh, asked people what they like, don't like. And I know you'll be shocked to hear this, but there was a lot of tribalism. Yes, yes. There were people that were just like, they fucking hate AEW. They think we put it over too much. And then there were people that hate WWE. They will not watch it. They will only watch AEW. And what's funny about that is it's going to be harder and harder to stick to your tribalism when we have a a promotion where every mercedes Monet promo is going to be a total WWE promo. She was largely born and raised in WWE. She worked there the vast majority of her career. She's got a writer from WWE that is working on her stuff, that learned everything in WWE. And then you've got this edge... Every single one of his angles, every single one of his promos, it's all WWE. Now, I don't dislike WWE. I mean, not a fan of Vince and a lot of different things, but as far as like the product, it's the best product in 20 years. I mean, it hasn't been this good since the Monday Night Wars, the good stuff during the Monday Night Wars. And so I don't mind seeing good WWE style stuff in AEW, but... You know, if you're one of those people that, I hate WWE, I think it sucks, I can't watch the product, but you liked this main event, brother, I don't know what to tell you. This was a total WWE main event. It was worked like a WWE main event. The finish was a WWE finish. That's what it was. And there's going to be a lot more of this going forward, and it's going to become, you know, much more homogenized. So, uh, that's just the way it's going to be. But... I thought for what it was, they did a they did a great job. What was a unique hairstyle worn by men in the sixties? Pop and conk, whatever what? that is. I beg your pardon. Excuse Mop. me. Cock and pump. And conk. Say that yeah, one more time. Nobody else talk. Pop and conk. Yeah. Are you sure, Granny? Read it again. Mep o p. Mop. Comma. Conk. Mop conk. Mop conk. Conk. C O N K. Okay. Look it up. All right. Mop conk. Mop conk. That's two different things. I know. <laughs> God damn it. Duh. <laughs> Why is she mad at us? Because <laughs> we're idiots. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.